Hello, lovely weirdos. I have been gone for a month. A lot of you guys have noticed that, and it's not because I forgot about you guys or anything of the like. It's because something really terrible happened in my personal life last month, and I've had to take some time to put the pieces back together and mentally get ready for another Cloudy Apples video. And I've been getting a lot of really supportive comments and messages on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for that. It helped me get through it like you wouldn't believe, and I'm so sorry about my armpits. I haven't really had much time for shaving lately. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about change and moving on because I've been doing a lot of both lately and I want you guys to just feel updated because everything around me is very different. Last month when the shit hit the fan, Terry and I had to leave town for a little while. We brought Twinkie with us because we didn't want him to die while we were gone. And when we got back, we realized that an entire dynasty of mice had a raging party in our empty apartment. There was sex and crumbs, Twinkie's water bowl was a swimming pool, empty beer cans everywhere. And it was adorable kind of, except there was mouse pee and poo, just excrement all over the place. In places that I didn't think that mice could get, like on top of our computer desk, on top of my closet, just everywhere. We had to throw so much stuff out. I was pretty devastated and we called our landlord and we're like, hey, you didn't do anything about the black mold we reported last month. If you don't do anything about these mice, we're gonna have to move out. So he got a guy to come in who put mouse traps and glue traps everywhere, which really concerned me because mouse traps are dangerous for Twinkie and glue traps are just a very sad and gruesome and sadistic way of killing mice. So I got Terry to set up the good old glass with a coin holding it up and a piece of cheese underneath. We only caught one mouse in there because mice are pretty smart and you can fool them once but they were never fooled by it again. We didn't know what to do with our little mouse prisoner so we took him downstairs and let him free in the garage. If you take him way too far away it's so cold out in Vancouver and it would have been a death sentence anyway so we did that and it quickly found its way back into our house and uh, I'm pretty certain we saw the exact same mouse the next day. I know they all look the same but I'm just I, I know it. Thankfully, while we were scrambling to find a new place, Melanie Murphy, who's from Ireland, was like, I'm thinking about moving to LA. We're looking for roommates. It'd be really nice if you and Terry came along. And we were like, that would be really cool. My brother used to live in Vancouver, but he moved away. I got really lonely there and I figured it'd just be nice to have a change of scenery. So Terry and I are here now and it is so good. My room is so nice. I sleep with a bunch of dogs at night. We have a pool in the backyard. What? So every morning I kind of just stand out there staring at the pool going, wow, there's a pool here. And I'm sure the novelty will wear off soon, but it's just, I've never lived in a house this nice. And I actually see the sun, which you never see in Vancouver in the winter. So. And look at Twinkie, he's sitting outside right now. Every single winter in Vancouver, Twink's like, no, we're not doing it, I'm gonna die. But here he's outside and it's just so nice to see Twinkie like, having more time in the year to be outside. He's getting old and it's really important for him to walk and he used to make me carry him if I took him outside in Vancouver. So this has been really, really nice and I'm so grateful about it. All of the goodness aside, it's been a very, very big change. We only had two weeks to move from Vancouver and our life there to LA. I only had enough room in my arms and in my suitcase for Terry, Twinkie, some clothes and some decorative keys that belong to my parents. It sucks because I hate goodbyes. I have mixed emotion about change. On one hand, I hate goodbyes, like I said. I hate feeling like a chapter of my life has ended. But on the other hand, the only thing I hate more than change is feeling like everything else is changing faster than I am or that I've stayed in the same place for too long. But change kind of puts you at odds with the past. It's kind of like when you move away from your hometown after high school and when you come back, you see that you really don't have much in common with your old friends. I feel like with my old self, we would have a lot of small talk because we don't really have much in common. She'd probably be like, you changed, what's wrong with you? And I'd be like, like, I haven't changed that much, I've just experienced stuff. And she's really smug, so she'd be like, just because you experience stuff doesn't mean you're smarter than me. And I'd be like, I'm not smarter than you, I'm just different. Even saying that feels so condescending. It feels like I think I'm better than my old self just because I've experienced stuff, and that's not the case. I, I'm just different. I don't know, like change is hard. Every hard thing that I've been through or every thing that I took for granted that I lost, I came out stronger and smarter and more empathetic after. And I like to think that somewhere inside me lives the person that I want to be. I just have to keep refining the parts of me that I do like and throwing out parts of me that I don't like. And it's a really big trial and error thing. Sometimes I throw out parts of me that I do like and I have to try to get that back. Sometimes I'm scared that I change too much or too little. It's been really helpful to me to be out here in LA because only in a week I've met so many people who I really look up to and it's really reassuring to me that they're just 
as lost and confused as I am. I just wanted to let you guys know as well that I have been posting on Gloom a lot more than Cloudy Apples, and that's not because I care more about Gloom than Cloudy Apples. I love them both so, so much. It's just because the past month has been really, really hard for me. I've been having good day, bad day, good day, bad day, and on a good day, I can get like seven Gloom videos, whereas Cloudy Apples videos take a lot more time and a lot more thought. I have a massive fear of disappointing you guys. I don't ever want to do that, so I'm going to try really hard not to. I would love it if in the comments you guys told me a situation that happened in your life for better or for worse that changed you. And if it changed you for the better, how? If it changed you for the worse, how did you manage that? I love you guys so much. I can't wait to read your comments. You guys are the smartest and most amazing community ever. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!